Ever wondered how secure your Android device really is? Think all those apps you download are harmless? In today's digital world, your device is more than just a communication tool. It's a treasure trove of personal information. And while we all love the convenience of apps, they can be a gateway for unseen threats. Yes, we're talking about malware, a silent predator lurking in the shadows of the digital world. Malware, short for malicious software, is designed to infiltrate and damage computers without the user's consent. And Android devices are no exception. In fact, they are a preferred target due to their open source nature and widespread use. From stealing your personal data to spying on your activities, malware can pose a significant threat to your digital security. And the most terrifying thing, it's more common than you might think. So is it time to bid adieu to your beloved apps? Or can you shield your device from these hidden dangers? Get ready to dive into the murky waters of Android malware attacks. Ever given a thought about how malware finds its way into your device? You might be surprised to learn that the journey of a malware from its origin to your device is a crafty one often unnoticed until it's too late. Let's start at the beginning, the distribution. You see, malware doesn't just magically appear on your device, it's often carefully packaged and distributed, hidden within something that appears harmless. Perhaps it's a seemingly harmless mobile game, a productivity app, or even a system update. The creators of malware are cunning, using appealing or essential applications as a Trojan horse to distribute their malicious software. Now you may wonder, how does this malware infiltrate my device? Well, this is where the user comes into play. Yes, that's right. The most common way malware infiltrates a device is through user action. You might download an app, click on a suspicious link, or open an email attachment. Unbeknownst to you, these actions can often lead to the downloading of a malicious software onto your device. These malware-loaded files or apps are designed to blend in to appear as ordinary as possible. You won't notice anything amiss at first. Your device functions normally, no glitches, no sudden pop-ups. Meanwhile, the malware is busy burrowing itself deeper into your device's system, laying low and hiding its tracks. Once it's in, it's like a ticking time bomb. The malware sits quietly, often for an extended period, hiding amongst your legitimate apps and files. It's waiting for the perfect time to activate and carry out its intended function. This could range from stealing your personal data, using your device for a botnet, or even locking you out of your device completely. So there you have it. That's how the infiltration process works. It's a sly and calculated process, one that relies heavily on the unsuspecting user. The malware is now on your device, lying dormant and waiting for the right moment to strike. What happens when the malware wakes up and starts to move? Just imagine, akin to a sleeper agent receiving a coded signal, the malware springs into action. Silently, it starts its mission. To infiltrate, to collect, to expose. In the shadowy recesses of your device, the malware begins to monitor your activity. Every tap, every swipe, every key you press could be under scrutiny. It's like an unseen observer, keeping a watchful eye on your digital life. The malware, once activated, behaves much like a digital spy, recording everything you do on your device. But it's not just about observation. The malware is also a master of extraction. It begins to mine for sensitive data. Passwords, credit card details, personal photos, confidential documents, it's all fair game. The malware sifts through the depths of your device, collecting these valuable nuggets of information. Now you might wonder what happens to all this data. It's not simply collected for the sake of collection. No, the malware has a more sinister purpose. The data is packaged up neatly and discreetly and then sent back to the hacker. This information, your information, is now in the hands of someone else. Someone who can use it for their own purposes, be it identity theft, financial fraud or even blackmail. It's a chilling thought, your most personal and private information now exposed to the world, and all this while the malware remains hidden, operating under the radar. It leaves no trace of its activities, no hint of its presence. It's a silent and stealthy operator, carrying out its mission without triggering any alarms. The malware has now completed its mission, leaving you and your data vulnerable. Once the damage is done, what are the potential consequences? A question that resonates with an uncomfortable undertone 
echoing the reality of our interconnected world. The aftermath of a malware attack is not a matter to be taken lightly, as the consequences can be grave and far-reaching. Imagine the feeling of waking up to find your digital life's innermost secrets exposed, all your sensitive data laid bare to the prying eyes of cyber predators. This is not a dystopian narrative, but a harsh possibility in the wake of a malware attack. The loss of sensitive data is a nightmare for anyone, be it an individual or an organization. It could mean the exposure of personal photographs, private conversations, or even confidential business data, leading to a catastrophic breach of privacy. But that's just scratching the surface. The aftermath of a malware attack can also be financially crippling. Cyber criminals could gain access to your financial information, siphoning off your hard-earned money right under your nose. They can make unauthorized transactions, emptying bank accounts and maxing out credit cards before you even realize what's happening. And the danger doesn't stop there. In some cases, the aftermath can even lead to identity theft. The malicious actors can use your personal information to create fake identities and commit fraud, leaving a trail of criminal activities in your name. Imagine having to prove your innocence against crimes you never committed, all because of a malware attack on your mobile device. This is not meant to instill fear, but rather to emphasize the seriousness of these consequences. In this digital age, our lives are intertwined with technology. And while it brings countless conveniences, it also carries potential threats. A malware attack is one such threat, and its aftermath can be devastating, affecting not just our virtual existence, but our real lives as well. The aftermath of a malware attack can be devastating and far-reaching. So, as we delve deeper into this digital era, let's arm ourselves with the knowledge and tools to safeguard our digital lives. How can you protect yourself from these invisible invaders? Well, there are several measures you can take to shield your Android device from the sneaky, malicious attacks we've been discussing. Let's delve into some of these protective strategies. First and foremost, it's crucial to have a trusted antivirus application on your device. Antivirus apps serve as your first line of defense, scanning for and eliminating any potential threats. They're like the vigilant watchman, always on the lookout for anything suspicious in your device's kingdom. But remember, not all antivirus apps are created equal. Some are the knights in shining armor, while others are wolves in sheep's clothing. So, always be sure to choose an antivirus from a reputable source. Look for ones with high ratings and positive reviews from other users. Next, keeping your device updated is of paramount importance. Updates often contain patches for security vulnerabilities that have been discovered. By regularly updating your device, you're essentially reinforcing the walls of your fortress, making it even harder for malware to breach. Now, let's talk about downloads. We all love to download apps, games and other goodies onto our devices, don't we? However, this can sometimes be like opening your castle gates to a Trojan horse. To avoid this, only download apps and files from trusted sources. Be wary of suspicious links or unexpected attachments. If something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Lastly, be mindful of the permissions you grant to apps. Some apps may ask for more access than they actually need. This could be a red flag that the app is up to no good. So, always review app permissions carefully. Armed with knowledge and the right tools, you can safeguard your Android device from malware attacks. Remember, in the digital world, being proactive is the best defense. We've journeyed through the world of Android malware attacks, but what are the key takeaways? Let's take a step back and reflect. We've seen how malware infiltrates unsuspecting devices, quietly weaving its destructive web. We delved into the chilling awakening of malware and the havoc it wreaks, from data theft to full-blown system takeover. The aftermath of such an attack is often dire, with consequences extending beyond the digital realm. But it's not all doom and gloom. We've also explored the robust defense mechanisms at our disposal. From regular system updates to the use of reliable security apps, these preventive measures act as our first line of defense against the cyber threats. Remember, knowledge is your greatest weapon against malware attacks. 
It's a wild world out there, but with the right tools and understanding, we can navigate it safely. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful videos.